Sister Martha. A queen of witches delivered by the Lord Jesus. Martha, a queen of witchcraft and clairvoyant witch doctor delivered by Jesus Christ reports. I was the queen of witchcraft in my region. To become one, I had to fight with the previous queen and kill her and drink from her skull. At night I led a large group of wizards and witches. At night, I killed or named who should be the witch to kill a particular witch's parent. During the day, I played the role of a clairvoyant witch doctor. I was widely consulted by those who do not know that a witch doctor that operates during the day and a wizard that functions at night is the same person. Everyone who came to see me received curses and demons while they believed they obtained solutions to their problems. When a man wanted to succeed, I would say to myself, have I succeeded myself? If I succeeded, this is where you will succeed. Indeed, when a man goes to consult a witch doctor, it is not the witch doctor who delivers him. The witch doctor only meets the sorcerer who holds him captive to negotiate with him, telling him. This man came to see me, and he gave me money. Please leave him for a while and after some time, you can take him back. It is the wizard who holds you who can set you free for a while. I gave bad things to my clients. Who thought they were good? At night I was a witch, by day I was a witch doctor, at night, as queen, my disciples carried me in a royal chair singing. I was queen for several years. One day I was sitting at my house at home and I saw two Christians coming towards me. These Two were each accompanied by two great and powerful beings, who have nothing to do with the spirits of our world. They were angels, beings who each held a sword. So I saw two real men, and four angels accompanying them. When my geniuses, my demons, saw them, they fled and entered the house. I was scared and I fled. I entered the house too. My demons were shaking and telling me, you must not leave us. If you leave us, who are you going to leave us with? Some time later, I thought the Christians were gone and I went out. I found myself face to face with them outside because they were waiting for me, believing that I had entered the house for a short while. They said to me, we came to talk to you about Jesus Christ. It was then that I knew that they were Christians. Unable to bear the presence of these great angels, I said, I already believe in God. I said this to get rid of them. They said to me, yes. They left. So I did a survey and found out which evangelical church they come from because we wizards know that there are churches where we can do whatever we want, and there are real churches especially evangelicals that we are helpless. And there are people who call themselves Christians and who attend churches that we wizards can kill. I decided to kill one of the Christians who had come to see me. I went to his house and took a chick from his yard. I gathered my entire wizarding group near the tree where we normally tie up our victims and kill them. We killed the chick on his behalf and did whatever it took to get him to die. The next day, instead of the Christian, a member of my group died. My disciples were afraid and they left the city for the village. I went to see the Christian and saw him escorted by angels. And when my demons saw the angels, they ran away. I saw the Christian get out of his car, smiling. He walked towards me to come and shake my hand. I fled. Indeed. No sorcerer can do anything against a true Christian. In addition to my humiliating failures, one day I had a dream of a big hole where I saw many people there crying. I also dreamed of Jesus whose blood was flowing and surrounded by several people who were rejoicing. When I woke up, a demon was near me and begged me in these terms, You must not leave us. I decided one day to go to the church of these Christians. From afar I could see that with every Christian there was an angel except those who live in sin. When a Christian called me, it was the angel who was with him who called me. He was making the same gesture of calling me. 
I took my place in the church. The pastor was preaching. I saw an angel near him, and the angel made the same gestures as him and moved his lips at the same time as him while saying the same thing as him during his preaching. And I saw Jesus Christ, whose blood was flowing, behind the pastor. It was beyond me. At the end of the service, I met the pastor and I did not tell him that I am a witch. The pastor said to the Christians, Come and pray for this woman, she is a witch. When the Christians said, In the name of Jesus, demons come out of this woman. I was overwhelmed and agitated and the demons cried out and fled through my mouth. Christians prayed for me until I was totally delivered, but I had to fast for them to pray for me so that the six-headed dragon serpent could come out. This dragon entered me during initiation. When my grandmother made me eat a man's crushed heart. On the day of my deliverance, I was filled with joy.